Hello, good day to all my form 5 students. Today we are here to discuss on the chapter Thermochemistry where teacher will be discussing part 5 of this lesson video. Now, the reaction, the heat of reaction that I am going to discuss in this chapter will be heat of combustion. In fact, this is the last part of the heat of reaction that we are going to discuss in this chapter. Now, let's start. Now, before we discuss on the procedure for heat of combustion, let me explain what is meant by heat of combustion. So, heat of combustion is the heat released. Please take note that teacher confidently writing heat released because we know that combustion is a classic example of exothermic reaction. So that is the reason why none of the combustion reaction or process is endothermic. We know that it releases heat to the surrounding. So we can confidently write Heat release because it is going to be exothermic. Okay, it's going to be exothermic reaction. Now, again, heat released when one mole of fuel. This is also important. Now, here, when calculating heat of combustion, things will be a bit different. Where students need to understand the procedure of this experiment in order to calculate this heat of combustion. Now, here we are taking one mole of fuel that is burned completely in excess oxygen. So, of course, we are discussing complete combustion. So, that is the first thing students need to know. So, complete combustion definitely produces carbon dioxide and water. Now, second, heat of combustion mainly highlights on the fuel that is going to be used. So, for your syllabus, usually the fuel that will be used will be from alcohol, alkane and alkene in form of liquid. Right? Okay, we can use hexene. We can use hexanol, hexane. So these are all liquids and they do, they are example of fuels. Alright, now without further ado, let's start on how to draw the heat, the setup of apparatus for heat of combustion. So teacher would like to highlight few important uh, concepts that you need to know. First thing, Thermometer must be immersed maximum inside the water. Now, please remember, in here, teacher said one mole of fuel. But we are involving water in this reaction. Now, what I want students to understand is we are using alcohol as a fuel to increase the temperature of water. Up to a certain extent. Teacher repeat, in this experiment to determine heat of combustion, we are using alcohol which acts as the fuel. Alcohol is the fuel which will help to rise the temperature of water until a certain extent. Now, please remember. We are not going to boil the water here. We just want to increase the temperature to a certain uh, temperature, uh, desired temperature. Alright. Okay. So, first we must have the thermometer which is immersed in the water. And copper can. Teacher would like to highlight why copper can is used. Copper can is used because copper can is one of the best uh, conductor of heat. It shows that the heat will be directly transferred. Whatever heat that is produced by the burning fuel, in here, to use example alcohol, will be directly transferred to the copper can. 
and students please remember in order to determine heat of combustion we must try to reduce the amount of apparatus used because apparatus might absorb heat from the fuel so we want the maximum amount of heat from the fuel transferred to the water as much as possible so that is the reason why you can find the teacher to use wire cogs okay we want the copper can to absorb sorry we want the water to absorb as much as heat as we can all right okay and we have a then we thermometer water so the water can be between 100 to 200 to 500 but not too much 500 is the maximum okay so teacher advised that 500 is maximum so for your usually when you're writing in experiments 100 cm cube to 200 to 500 cm cube is okay all right okay now spirit lamp that means the uh, where we, we are going to store the alcohol okay so these are the few notes that the uh, students need to highlight we must use copper can so that maximum amount of heat will be transferred from the alcohol burning of the alcohol or the fuel to the water copper is one of the best heat conductor windshield actually teacher didn't draw so you can draw a windshield okay at the side of the setup of apparatus why because windshield prevents the air from disturbing the burning of the alcohol so when the burning of the alcohol or the fuel is disturbed by moving air what happens is the heat of combustion that students going to calculate won't be that accurate all right so windshield is used so temperature so the suggested temperature increase is usually 30 degrees so we can go from 20 degrees to 40 degrees that means just say initial temperature is 25 degrees celsius so students are advised to just heat up the alcohol or sorry heat up the water so that the temperature increases from 25 to 55 so the increase of temperature here is 30 degrees celsius so that is advisable so again Students, please remember that we are not trying to boil the water. That's not necessary. We are just trying to heat up the water so that we can calculate the heat of combustion of the fuel. Alright? Okay, now third. So these are the important recordings that students need to take. You have to calculate the initial temperature of the water before you heat up the water. You have to calculate the final temperature. Here the beauty is you have already decided why, how, how much you want the temperature increase. Teacher repeat, here you have already decided how much of the increase of temperature that you want for this experiment. Maybe from 25, heat up to 45 degrees Celsius. 25, maybe heat up to 55 degrees Celsius but no need to go beyond 40 degrees Celsius. So these are the advisable increase of temperature for collaborator. Yeah? Okay, and important, again, very important part is the mass of fuel for combustion. So in this experiment, teacher going to use butanol. I'll give you an example. When giving example, teacher will use butanol. So the mass of the fuel before combustion, which is technically before you use the fuel before the combustion. Okay, before you use the fuel to heat up the water, and after you get the desired increase of temperature, mass of fuel after the combustion is recorded. So, what need to be recorded? So, students, please make sure what need to be recorded is the initial temperature, very important, final temperature, the desired temperature that you want the fuel to increase the water in the water. Mass of fuel before combustion, mass of fuel after combustion. So these are the four important points that students must record. Now let me give students an example of how to find heat of combustion. Now please look at the example given. Let's read together and let's figure out the heat of combustion together. Now 
500, so please underline 500 pn cube of water, and follow here, is heated using butanol. So, students, these are the few, this is the cube used. We are using butanol. Okay, since you have done chapter 2 on 5 carbon compounds, we know that butan butanol has the molecular formula of C4H9OH. So, this is butanol. Now, the initial temperature given is 30 degrees Celsius. The temperature increased to 60 degrees Celsius. So, students, you know that we have increase of temperature 30 degrees Celsius. So, the theta is 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, the theta here is 30 degrees Celsius. Initial 30 final 60. So, the increase on temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So, which is desirable. So, which is advised for, for you all of you. Now, let's go to another two important uh, notes or uh, information that students need in order to calculate heat of combustion. Now, initial mass of butanol with the lab. What feature man with the lab is the spirit lab or anything to store the fuel. So, of course, when you pray, it is with the mass of the lab. So, mass of the lab is 502.28 gram. After you have heated the water up to 60 degrees Celsius, the final mass of butanol and the lab is 500 gram. Can you see all the four important information that is recorded for your for you to calculate heat of combustion and for your for, for easy access teacher has given the molar mass of butanol which is 74 gram per mole okay so molar mass in order to find the mole so let's start on how to calculate so the first a calculation before we start any calculation regarding heat of combustion it is advisable for students to know or write down the chemical equation for this reaction. In chapter 2, from 5 carbon compounds, teacher have taught students on how to balance the equation for combustion process. Okay, so C for H9OH add with oxygen. Okay, so added with oxygen, that means technically burn with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, students, please remember that when teacher writes carbon dioxide and water, that means technically teacher discussing about complete combustion. So, when we have complete combustion, definitely carbon dioxide and water is produced. Now, let's balance the equation. So, carbon, 4 carbon, hydrogen, 9 plus 1, teacher repeat, 9 plus 1, 10. So, we have 5 water, okay, molecule of water. So, amount of oxygen, students must be careful. Why? Because we are dealing with alcohol. So, what happens is 4 times 2, 8 plus 5, 5 plus 1, times 1. So, we get 13. Now, when we are bringing here, we must make take into consideration that there is one oxygen stuck in the alcohol, the molecule of alcohol. So, what we should do is 13 minus 1. So, equals to 12. Teacher repeat, why we minus 1 out of the 13 oxygen is because, can we see? Can you see? We have one oxygen stuck in your alcohol. So, that is the reason why. So, now we are dealing with 12 oxygen which technically becomes 6 oxygen. So, students, please watch this video few times in order to understand on how to balance equation for combustion. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next okay, calculation. Heat of reaction. So, always remember, throughout the calculation of all the other three of reaction, teacher always start with heat of reaction. That means for this particular, this particular experiment, what is the heat produced? 
Alright? Okay, now, so of course, we are using MC theta. Okay, so students are very aware of what is MC theta. Max C is the heat capacity. Okay, 4.2 joule per gram per degree Celsius. And the increase of temperature. Okay, another thing I would like to highlight to students. When teacher discussing about M, previous reactions, we always talk about the mixture during the reaction. For instance, when acid mixed with alkali, the total volume produced during the neutralization will be the heat, sorry, will be the mass of the mixture. But here, things are a bit different. Alright? Okay, here, students will be surprised that the mass taken is actually the mass of water. Teacher repeat, the mass taken is the mass of water. Now, you might be asking, teacher, why we are using mass of water instead? But we have calculated mass of butanol, mass of butanol after and before, before and after the heating. Now, the idea is the heat that is produced by combustion of butanol is directly transferred to the water. So that is our understanding. So please remember that the heat of combustion of butanol is directly transferred to the water. So that is the reason why we take water, mass of water as consideration times 4.2. So the teacher have explained all this, where does 4.2 come from? Heat capacity of the water. Okay, then you times with 30. Okay, so all this will produce the unit of joule. Now, please remember, 30 degrees is the amount of temperature that has been increased using butanol. Okay, the temperature that has been increased. Huh? So, let's look at what is the heat of reaction. Going to be quite large. So 63000 or 63 kilo joule. Okay, so 63 kilo joule. That is going to be the heat of combustion. Please remember, since we are using high amount of um, uh, volume of water, okay, and the temperature is also very high. Of course, we are going to get high amount of uh, value for MC theta. Alright? Okay, now let's go to the third. Third is definitely finding mole of butanol used. Okay, so use. Okay, mole of butanol used. So, teacher have given molar mass of butanol is 74 gram per mole. Now, if students calculate the mass of butanol used 502.28 minus 500 is 2.28 gram divided with 74 gram per mole. Okay, so 74 gram per mole is actually the mole, so the molar mass of the substance. So let's calculate what will be the mole. Zero point zero three mole. So we get zero point zero three mole. So this is important. Okay, so again, I hope students can watch teacher's video a few times in order to understand heat of combustion. Why? Because the calculation for heat of combustion differs from the other three reactions that I have explained before. Alright? Okay, now the next question will be how are we going to connect? Point number two and point number three. So, how it will be is number four, we are going to calculate heat of combustion. Where in all for this reaction, we use 0 0.03 mole has managed to produce 63 kilojoule of heat. But I am not interested in 
0.03 mole of fuel. I am interested in 1 mole of fuel. Okay, so I hope students can understand. Huh? So, 0.03 for this particular reaction. I only used 0.03 mole of butanol. Now, I am not interested in 0.03. I am more interested in 1 mole of fuel butanol. So, 1 mole will basically produce... Okay, 21, 2100 kilojoule of heat. Okay, so we will produce 1 mole will produce 2100 kilojoule of heat. Now, let's go to how to do the energy level diagram. Okay, so how to draw energy level diagram. Teacher have taught before. So, now students can understand why teacher has written the chemical energy. Okay, so I have written the chemical equation before starting this, our discussion. Huh? Before starting our discussion. Okay, now. So, look at the, look at the shape of the graph. So, please remember why teacher has drawn Exothermic shape of the graph is because we know that combustion is a classic example of exothermic reaction. So, automatically, the shape of the graph will be exothermic type. Alright? Okay. And please remember, for heat of combustion, there is no such thing as ionic equation huh? because we are dealing with molecules. No ionic equation. So, please use chemical equation, which is... So, this is how we construct energy level diagram. Now, please remember, when did suddenly negative 2100 kilojoule came from? Okay, per mole. So, can we see, teacher, I have already calculated per mole. One mole produces 2100 kilojoule. Now, per mole, two, that's why teacher has written 2100 joule per mole. Sorry, kilojoule per mole. Now, again, Please remember, where did the negative sign came from? Negative sign is produced thanks to this reaction being an exothermic reaction. Okay, so I hope students can understand. So you can try out few um, type of example after watching teacher's video with the guideline of my video. Okay, so I will see uh, all of you in part 6 of our uh, thermochemistry video where I will discuss about uh, fuel value and also the application of endothermic and exothermic reaction. Okay, so thank you for watching teacher's video. Till then, take care. See you all.